Okay, what is up everybody out there? Artist of Strong Style here. Now, of course, yeah, it's been a damn long time since we've continued on with what? Our d, &D campaign. Okay, you heard that from our DM, which means Dungeon Master if you do not know that. And if you do, oh well. Then you know it. Anyways, let's continue on since we since it's been a long damn time. Go ahead. Okay, when we last left off, you guys had used the thick of many to give the three ghost two ghost children. And in doing yes. so, <laughs> yeah, some in the tower, a straw in it. And there it is, one floor. Last we left off, he was taking a nice bubble bath with his wooden ducky and his um, scrub brush. And he's looking out the window, looking at you and going, in all my bloody years, this never happened. Really? And he's just leaning out like, and my bath tower too. Try raising your voice. <laughs> okay. So well. I'm gonna reveal something I've been holding on for a while. You guys get a surprise round on Strahd. Alrighty, here we go. So uh, you these? have one minute to decide who yourselves. If anyone wants to go first in particular, they can go. If not, I guess we'll have to roll to see who goes first. Want me to go first, guys? So I can do my strategy, I told you? Alright. Okay, I was hoping you guys would tell each other that. Um, are you ready or what? Okay. Alright. Yep. My first thing I do, I cast Grease on the tower uh, window. Is that a cantrip? No, it's a level one spell. Okay, that's an action right there, so you still yep. have your bonus action. And then... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait Grease? What did I do exactly? Okay, let me get to Grease real quick here. Grease. Okay, slick grease covers the ground on a 10 foot square, the point in the range and turns into difficult terrain for the duration. The grease appears, each creature standing in its area must So, are you theory. putting it into the on window where he's at? The window at? where he's at. When he's just putting his hand there, are you going inside the thing as well? well Do you it, have to see it? It's a whole 10 foot square. What's the weight width of the window? It's, it's just a window. To, like, exactly. Like a living room window. So, he's, he's going to go he's all on out. the window and himself. He'd be greased. Does he have to make a dexterity saving throw? He's going to have to if he moves. That's the thing, though. Then, I'm going to use okay, my... Okay, as this has happened, he's looking at you like, I just finished scrubbing myself with imported lilac water. Oh, don't worry. This time, Rakan's got something for ya! Well, he didn't and I use it. Thorn Whip. What that does... What's the reach on that? 30 feet. Yeah. Okay, five, ten, fifteen. I'll say you have it. Okay. Whip, and that. So this will be a uh, disadvantage on straw since he's being taken by surprise, I believe. Yep. And so I remember right, Thorn Whip is a druid spell, I remember right, mainly. It's also a, actually, it's for, uh, also, it's an artificer spell, too. I know, but druids love it the most. Mm, let's see, which one? Yeah. How's it when you play DD? Those kids are always noisy. That's a lot of the universe. Um, here's my, there's my spell. Uh, intelligence. So it's uh, oh like four. All right, there I go. I get advantage. Seventeen and. Wait, do I have to get the seventeen therapy? twice? So twenty-one. It's a hit? Yeah. Oh, so you're making a, a hit? Yeah, twenty-one. That's a cantrip, right? Yeah, it's a cantrip. It hits. You actually hit his armor class right there. And now I, of course, pull him forward ten feet, and with the <laughs> and with the with all the grease there, it makes him slide. <laughs> okay, so hold on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have anything to stop that? <laughs> and you'll take... Hold on, let's see here. Uh, two D6s. Of damage. <coughs> okay, at least it's cloudy sky right now, that's good. Because Strong will be taking a lot of shit. Okay, so... Oh, we say a few customers in the video, no matter what. There we go. Uh, so, seven damage. Well, seven, I'm sorry. Uh, seven plus... Uh, what type four, of damage is it? Um, it would be transmutation. No, well, what type of damage? Is it piercing, bludgeoning? Uh, it's the plants, it would be... Yeah, let's take that on here, honestly. But it's got to be piercing, since it's thorns. Well, it would say piercing on the top part. It was piercing. No, no it doesn't. 
Okay, then Strahd does not does it have a disadvantage in that jump. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't have to state what it is. Health points there, minus seven. Uh, yeah, this does, it's just this spell damage, that's all it says. Artificer doesn't see what type of damage either. Huh, weird. So, yeah, um, already, um, actually, let's, let's see here. It's 11, plus 4, plus 3. You said 7, right? I, said, uh, I was I was 7, point seven plus 4, plus 3. I forgot the plus 3. So, so another 7, 14. 14 damage. And, you and, pull, he, and he pulls him 10 feet forward, so... Well, yep. Does he have to be the pull? Um, what, what save does he have to do for it? Huh? What kind of save? There's no it? save. Eh? There's no saving. Well, I gotta see that. I know that yeah. spell has a save on it. Uh, no. There is none that says on here. You can take a look at it right here. I also have it on mine. I have it all up, though. There mm, you go. Nice. <laughs> okay. Dang, it's slow. My gosh, my character is like towering over Strahd. <laughs> that can't be right. This should have been a. Uh... I thought it would. I thought it would be too a save on there, but there is no save apparently. Uh, did you do the? How many D6s did you use on that? Uh, two. I just want to make sure. So I'm a fifth. Le- I'm a past fifth level. Okay, hold on, see here. Actually, I am fifth level, so two D6s. <laughs> what level are we? Five. Five. Okay. He put us to five. I see. Yeah. Let's take it and get rid of it. This grease you put, is it, is it, is it happen to be flammable? Um, it just says it makes it rough terrain. Oh. I, it's up to, uh, to the DM on that one. So DM, which oh with Thorn the, Whip, I was looking for Thorn Whip, dude. I was looking for Rose Whip. <laughs> no Thorn Whip. <laughs> You're thinking of freaking Sailor Moon. <laughs> Never paid attention to it. <clears throat> okay, see so here. <clears throat> There's a love story in that one. It gets weird. Really, yeah. really weird. Later, later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I know what I have to do next. <laughs> uh, one thing though, is the grease uh, flammable, yes or no? I believe so, yeah. Uh, so he's all greased up right now, so there you go. <clears throat> well, I don't know if this will do anything though. I don't know, it depends, yeah, depends on the deal. Can I um, have my phone back? Mm-hmm. Thank you. And plus, where he's at is also grease too, so it's not difficult terrain right now too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I greased him in the terrain. <laughs> <laughs> so when he moves, he has to do a dexterity saving throw. Just letting you know. It's dry. Oh, he's out of the grease area now. No, he, he's greased, and also the floor around him. Remember, it's ten feet. Does he, does he have a hover ability? Nope, he does not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, it's Leonard's turn. One second, is I it? need to do a throw to see where these people are. Because now he's out of his tower. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hold on, let's see. Where's my map at? I'm trying to keep track of one person who's moving out in the world. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you left him off. Think what you're gonna do, Leonard. I, 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 I already, already know what I'm doing. Okay, that's the castle bar world. That's castle baby love. And they were last spotted right here. So I can make five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 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 you know? Let's see what happens. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. That was an hour ago. Go ahead, Leonard. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. You have Straw kind of right there next to you. Yeah. Yeah. He's in looking range, oily and watery. Okay. So I'm saying, you know, it might take flame at night. Remember, he was in the bath. Oil and water do you have a weird mixture. So you gonna do what you want oil and grease. Okay. Well, I will. I will cast Sacred Flame. Uh, you do know Sacred Flame is a holy ability. It does not catch things on fire. Oh well. Either way, I'll. You're still casting it. it. Okay. Let's see here. And since I'm fifth level, it is uh, two d eight. And let's see. Uh, Thank God. You yeah. must succeed on a dexterity saving throw, or take two d eight of radiant damage. Okay, so let's see. So what would that be? with your saving throws? My saving throw. It uh, should be on your spell casting sheet. Next page. Oh, uh, top part. Seventeen. Oh. Let me out. <laughs> Do I want to use it or not? Hmm. Well, Straw, it looks like you have you, we caught you with your pants down. He doesn't have them on. He has a towel. <laughs> what do you know? I don't know if he has that. Go greasy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Straw. I say, go be a little bit. Yeah, it hits. Okay, do your damage. Okay, 2d8 of damage. That's a 1. Oh boy. And a 3. Don't forget your uh, spell bonus, too. Oh, uh, spell attack bonus, so Seven. two of them, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. I need a bookmark. So, uh, what? Well, no, no, two no, no, no cards. just one. It's one seven. and, um, uh, what was seven it? 7 plus the 2. Oh, one, 1, 4, and 7. 1, one 4, four and seven. 7. Uh, yes. 1, 4, 7. So, that's 12 damage. Yeah. And you still have your bonus action too. Um, I'm going to cast um, Guidance on Aaron, or what is his character's name? I forget. Hanzo. 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 I will cast uh, Guidance on Hanzo. Yeah, you get a sneak attack bonus right now. Yeah, and a extra roll if you need it. Okay, so it's what? I have to use. Not yet. Okay. What you can use now is your sneak attack. That's a 3d6. You hit him with a dagger if he hits and stuff, you get all kinds well, of Actually, you're kind of, you know, actually, sneak attack is not just a dagger, dude. It can be also used Well, sneak attack bow. happens when he gets advantage or he sneaks up on a person, dude. Yeah, advantage. Right now we all... He has have, advantage. Yeah. So you can use your crossbow since <clears throat> you're far... In. Well, he's going to have to go around or in between you guys to hit him. What are you going to do? You could just move forward some. There's a space. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of like... Actually, like so how much damage really... did you do this from? You didn't tell me. Actually, he's kind of in range. What was it? I think it was 12 damage altogether, right? Yeah, 12 damage. Oh, yeah. no. 7, 4, that's and 11, one. 12. Yeah. 12 damage. Yeah, we just need this in the back of that. It's just a straight. Yeah, damage. straight. It's, yeah, straight right there, yeah. 50. Well, I'm technically. I would be technically here. That's where my character is. So you could go either here or you can go over here. But there is. Isn't there a space in between the characters? No, I'm kind of. We're, you're kind of supposed to be like right here as well. I'm right there. Oh. I guess the DM didn't, yeah. didn't, didn't set up. You guys have to sit you guys to sell up. You didn't tell I thought us you that. put us over there. No, no you I guys just I, I just set them there real quick. Oh. I don't know where you guys set your sizes up. You guys what do you do? Just move your character to here, then you can just fire. He yeah. has daggers mainly. He has a crossbow, repeating crossbow. Not the best weapon. What's up to you? What do you want to do, Aaron? You want to get closer, or what do you want to do? I'll get closer with him. Alright, then. You go up. And. Use your daggers. They're um, in your group text chat, Mike, in your phone. No, they're not. I sent I sent them to Leonard by accident. <laughs> Why did you send them? Telling I have it. <clears throat> okay, okay, hold on. I'll, don't do the group. Just do Mike. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I sent them to Mike. Uh, okay, what daggers? I sent them to him already. Okay. Oh, your phone. I, I just got it. I just got it right now. See, your phone sucks. Okay, so you have two daggers here. Why does my phone suck? You're the one that sent them to me. Oh, here we go. Just for everyone to get a message here. I have the message. Light. Oh, perfect. Use uh, this one here. Just make a stun. They'll eat the one in each hand. Yeah. Uh, ten, five. That's perfect. You use sunlight. Oh, that's what you gave me. The blackjack. Yeah, I remember that. Did you apply the damage that came with the blackjack? All right, hold okay. on. Um... Mm -hmm. How are you going to apply the damage and roll for it? I'll allow it right now. Let's see. Damage 1d8. Okay, of 
plus two bludgeoning. But no, that was that's a ranged attack though. That was a ranged attack, not full strength. Uh, okay. So do I still roll this? Oh no, no 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 no! That was your sacred flame. You didn't you didn't hit him with your hammer, did you? No, that's what I was saying. It was up to you, dude. You decided to. Is it turned done? Yeah, I cast guidance on him and I ended my uh-huh. turn and he moved. Yeah, so you can't you, you can't use your blackjack. I know. I just said, oh, it's a that, I, hit. I just looked on here yeah. to see and like, oh yeah, I remember you gave me this weapon. So you give him guidance? Yes. Isn't that where he gets a D four? Uh, yeah. If he needs, if he if he needs. Okay, it. so roll roll a D twenty to see if you want to hit strong with your first weapon attack. You get advantage, dude, so you roll twice. Well, that's uh, 12. 12 plus uh, dexterity, so plus 3. He 15, still rolls. Plus he rolls advantage. Roll again. That's advantage. 15 so far. And that's. Uh, just a 6. Okay, so, first, uh, roll. Fi- first roll was a 15. Miss! Roll again for your second one. Remember, I cast guidance on you. If he wants to use a d4 on it, if you want to use the guidance on it, you will give you an extra d4 roll. Roll a D4 okay. then. D4? Yeah. Roll it. Okay, he wants to use his guidance then. Uh, that's a 1. Dead even. 16. Hit. So it's a hit. So, okay, there we go. Oh, that's a 16. so apply your damage from your dagger. That'll be a plus a 2. So you roll a D4. Okay, that'll be this one. Yep. That's a D6. Oh. The D4 is this one here. You roll a D4. You roll one D4. Four. Four. Actually, he had a plus three the whole time. He didn't have to use his D4. A dagger gives him a plus three to his attack. That's right, it does. I forgot. I'm just pulling this up, dude. You I'll allow the D4 to go all, back. We're all winging it right now. I'll allow, <laughs> I'll allow the D4 to go back to you. All right, so he has the D4 back. So Okay, so it hits no matter what. So he needs a plus four. Plus okay, so sneak attack for a roll. It's gonna be a- and then he creates sunlight in ten foot around him. Oh, Lord. How long does it last? Uh, 10 feet of action. Uh, action. You can expand the bright light radius to 30 feet to, uh, until the start of your next turn. So you want to do that, Aaron? You want to flash the surrender? While you're tuned to this weapon, the venture sun emits a bright light 10 feet and dim light for another 10 feet. So 10 feet around him is now don't, bright Don't light. vampires take extra damage yeah. from radiant damage? Some yeah. do, some don't. You have to figure this out if you want. So you don't know. Okay. You, you don't know. <laughs> oh, that's racist. I need... Passes. You have a <laughs> and so look up the damage with the dagger and see how much it does exactly to strive. I'm trying to look up here. The dagger does. It's a uh, okay. One extra d8. Now roll one extra d8 of damage plus it. So you drew a four. This is a d. It's not a d. That's it. That's a d. That's a d10. That's a d10. The double pyramid. Double. That'll be this one here then, right? Okay. Yeah, like yeah, this one here. Yeah, this one looks like a, uh, it's a, that's actually a six. It looks like a nine. Plus okay. three, so seven. Plus two, that's nine. Um, nine plus. Where is the rogue at? Um, Why plus... haven't we played D and D? Those kids are always. Oh, <laughs> So it was a four, a three. It could be just seven, a ghost eight, children playing around. Seven. Seven. No, they got rid of two, two. Nine. Plus, 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 he has three d six for a sneak attack. Fifteen damage and plus um, three d six. He has three d sixes. Three of these. Two. Five. Two. Seven more additional damage. So sixteen plus seven. That's. I have it right here. Yeah. And plus he gets his uh, secondary attack, too. Yeah. Which you could use, if you want. With this, you get a fireball attack, if you want. Solar flare. So I'll pull him uh, that's the dagger. He has used the other dagger in the other hand. He doesn't have to. He can use yeah. a spell if he wants to um, on the on this dagger. Uh, that dagger is... That would need an action, dude. He just uses his action. Okay, never mind then. That's not what he has said. the other dagger he uses for the secondary attack. Well, while, while holding this sword, you can use an action. Yeah, it's an action. Never mind. So you can still... Use a cantrip, or you can just attack with your dagger again. The second dagger, the one with other hand. Use these here. Last duration, spirit drugs, I think I just attack him. What this kid's chanting? Okay. Just do, do another attack on the de- with the other dagger. And attack is what? Just roll the. Um, it is. Roll a d18 to see if you hit. 
Uh, that's, uh, a D8. <laughs> a D8. <laughs> D8. 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 Okay. Roll D20, okay? <laughs> you roll it again? <laughs> roll again, get advantage. Eight. So plus three, eleven. <laughs> plus uh, three. 11, Fourteen. Fourteen. Misses. Fourteen. That's a miss. Then. As the first one hits straw. Oh, goes... no. You can use your now use the D4. Now use the D4. Use the guidance. Guidance. Wow. Plus Dang. three. That's uh, 18. 18. Hit then. Oh, fuck you hell. And then uh, go ahead and roll for damage. Roll again. 1D4. Oh, D4. D4. Okay. Yeah, one, we'll say 1D4. One. one. Plus two is three. Then roll a D8. Got this one here. Seven. Seven. Uh, so seven. What does the other dagger do? Three. That's ten damage. And the other one makes moonlight. That's. If you, but moonlight. he can't. That's why he doesn't. He didn't roll high enough for that. Would it moonlight be bad? Wait, yeah, moonlight. that's why it'd be bad anyway. Um. Wait a second. Does this crit fix? And then one d eight. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Actually, oh god, this is bad. Eleven. Hold so, on. I have to look something up here. This dagger does more than I thought to do against strong. One second. Did you kill him? I am not and plus, sure. we can by sunlight too. He's also weakened by sunlight too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he gave him a freaking a best freaking weapon against him. I don't know why he gave you the deck of me. I, 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 so I allowed it. I did a random roll to see what items I did not allow it. I I'm sold the deck of me. Used to this. Because so I gave you two very powerful and weapons with secret abilities you guys don't even know about yet, and he had nothing. Besides a secret chest. Which is fine with me. Hold on, let's see here. This does worse. Hold on. <laughs> oh, great. So we might need to start a straw's turn. I have to do something here. Fucking hell. And he has, uh, what is it, um... Uh, Grease on him. Grease. Okay, so what's the damage from the from the moon dagger? And sneak attack as well. Okay, well, sneak attack gives you... Um, another three plus... No, three, three D6 you have three to roll. Three sixes. So what's the first damage you did? Eleven. Plus, oh, you mean the, from the first attack or the second? The, the moon dagger. Uh, 11 damage so far. Plus the now the three sixes. Two. Seven. seven. One. Eight. Eight? Eight, eight all together? Eight all together. Let me do the math on this. God, the hell. Okay, good thing it wasn't all three sixes. Six, six, six. That would have been awesome. That would have been messed <laughs> up. wins automatically when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Straw looks pretty beaten up right now. Like, <laughs> and sunlight's weakening him too. Uh, now it's like. Wait, the sunlight. Okay, so let's check what that dagger does exactly. I have to double check to see what it does. Okay, mm -hmm. now everybody rolls for initiative. All right, here I go. Uh, D20. Oh, okay. oh. All right. Ah. Wow, I just 17, got the one. 17. Uh, 12. Plus initiative, I think is three, so fifteen. You have initiative up oh, here. Uh, three, three. You're so twenty, 20. fifteen, and uh, what you roll? Mine's what? what? Mine's a fifteen. 15? His is a twenty. 20. Yours? What you roll? A one. A one. Uh, so Dead last. four. That's actually good for a roll in a sense. Dead yeah. Last. So you go. You get behind the person again, and get a okay. advantage sneak attack. So that's yeah. actually deadly for a roll to the last. Well, you said right now, Strahd's stuck in a corner, so it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, so... Stuck more like slippery. Leonard, your first, my second, Strahd's third. But I had to roll some dice right now to see a secret of events of going in right now. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, Lord, that's closer than I let's thought. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see what this person's at. Uh-oh. Okay. This is bad. Uh-oh. I'm, not, I'm saying I'm not the same. Bad for who though? Oh. <laughs> bad for you. Bad for them. Bad for the Just environment. Just you guys hear a familiar? Ah. If you remember from a year ago, what was the last thing when you got your staff of? I'll call it the staff of Loki. I don't like the staff. I like like the staff of Liberty is nice, but I'll now call it the staff of Loki in my <laughs> game. Um, you remember what happened when you guys got that staff? Oh yeah. What is that? They're coming. They're coming. Team Rocket. What happened to them exactly? They blast. Oh, oh they're gonna land now. They're gonna yeah. land. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you didn't print out the paper, so I had to dig through the stats and make some stats up for one of them. So that'll be easy. And just bring up the character sheet. Cause oh my gosh. I mean, really? it's Team. I made sure it's made Team Rocket in my game by accident. 
I'm not joking. Drug not accident. No, I was literally designing a character. So wait, wait, wait. They were in in the sky a whole year, and now they're. <laughs> Well, in our reality, yes. <laughs> in their reality, remember, it's only been an hour since they blasted off again. And oh I've been rolling God. to see how far, which direction, and the direction put them in your direction. And how much speed they were traveling has been pretty much kind of behind you. They've been using some, you know, when you when you skydive, you're supposed to put your, watch, do what I'm doing right now so the camera sees it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. doing, you're spreading your arms and you're yes. totally doing that, yeah. Yeah. So Team Loki's on my page <laughs> three. I've had from further in the book. Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Where are they at? Jeez. Clerics of Loki is on page thirteen. That was accidental too. Okay, Sun, Screech, and Cypher. And we go back to my main page where we're doing the battle. Good lord, I need my bookmarks. I need my bookmark. Okay, so. Okay, hopefully you don't make that one that fails. That one fails. That one succeeds. Okay, Cypher will be the only one who will at least stick the landing while Screech and Sun are going to do this. So, uh, where's fall damage in D&D? It's in here, actually. <laughs> Well, how high up were they exactly? I mean, some ninety feet. So that's, that's it. That could be deaf in a sense too. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google this right here because fall damage can kill a character very well, and especially in the critical role, people have died that way a lot. Okay, D and D fall damage. Surprise! Google's not autofilling that one right out. Let's see here. Okay. So this is going to be tricky. And where are they going to land? I think you have to roll for that. I rolled d6 on that one. Three characters. I'm missing a d6 here. I thought I had all my d6s. Whatever. What's the time of the day right now? Uh, Cloudy. It's always cloudy, usually there. Uh, but what time is it? There is no time. At, I would say high noon. Oh. If there was a sun, you would see it in the sky, but the oh, clouds are always cloudy. You oh, would right, have to because... use a magical ability to undo the clouds temporarily. Okay. We got a uh, sun already out on try, so... Yeah. Well, if you want more sun, you go for it if you want to. Yeah, there's a way to do it. Where's my d6? I, no, 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 my good d6. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. This is bad. Okay, so. Cypher touches down like it was nothing at all to... <clears throat> Let me get some goblins here. This will be Cypher. This will be Screech. And this will be Sun. Mm -hmm. So. I rolled a d6 and I numbered the spaces you guys all in. So. Cypher touches down like nothing. Oh boy. Oh, well, this is gonna be kind of kadoosh. <laughs> <don't> like that. <laughs> yeah. And the kind of landing on Strahd as well. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, they came out there. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see the map again? Where's my map? Jesus. They knocked his <laughs> tower down on top of it. With a bathtub in it. <laughs> and the poor girl's children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they landed that way, so they're gonna come in that way. So they're landing this way, so they psh, the tower will be weakened, so it will fall technically that way on Strahd. And now he's pinned down to the ground. I will put a roll on that one to see if he does it. 11. Also, Dick's, uh, De difficult terrain he's on right now, too. I know. Technically, Strahd can resist a lot of those stuff, especially rolls, he's strong enough. But since it's a disadvantage, and I know he's a big boss, people, but I'm playing fair here in the sense of physics and magic. So, okay, so these kind of did land on him. The, the initial run, so. Yeah, clack, the clack, clack. It's kind of like the Wick of the Witch, but his head's out first. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I, he bit his tongue. Ugh. Ow. Uh. Lennon, you is Rubber Ducky goes right as Wooden Duck has landed right in front of you. Okay, 
So, let's do some damage roll on these guys. You're not dead completely. Except for Cypher, she survived. Lucky her. Being a snake girl does survive. Okay, so it's 1d6 bludgeoning per damage per 10 fallen feet. 90 feet. That's 9d6 they have to roll. Oh, wow. So. I need a page just for the damage. What the heck? I need some loose paper. What the hell? Just keep that here. Thank you, because I'm doing too much damage here. Oh, you guys are. Okay. I had to pull up. Where's my email with the stats? <laughs> and pull them out. <laughs> okay, so. I pulled the monkey out in public. You know, your strategy is perfect for, for pulling those, those rings off that get stuck on your fingers. Okay, so at least two guys are 117. Screech <laughs> <laughs> and Sun are taking damage. So that's. Uh... Mike, can you track of this one right here? How? You have my paper. No, no, no. This, this, this is not what I'm doing right now. So, mm, 10. 10. Let's see. 10. 20. 7. 27. So, why was I needed? Oh, uh, I just keep those <laughs> the first two numbers. So, they both take 27 point points of damage. And let's roll initiative for a Screech 2. She goes right above uh, Aaron if she wants to. She still has to take stock of the situation. Okay, so double checking the weapons is the start of the person's round or his starting round? Does he have to do it? No, we uh we, we start this one now. No, 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 no. The dagger. Does it do it for the, the victim's uh, round or his round? No, I'll wait till his next turn. This is his next turn. Yeah, I'll wait till Aaron starts. Okay, so oh, the sun's going right now. Sun's still going. So yeah. Star takes no damage until his turn, right? No, it's, the, it's it's not damage. It just makes sunlight. What well, does here? You'll see eventually. Okay. Um, go ahead, okay. Leonard. While, while your uh, miniature sun emits bright light uh, up for ten feet around him. Okay, so where did light. those wimps land at? Uh, right. They're behind here. Strong. Oh. But guess what? Strong's gonna use a legendary action, spend his movements right now, mm. and go. Oh, the bloody hell! Oh, piss. Dexterity saving throw. To move. No, cost all his movement and. Dexterity saving throw. He's gonna. Oh, he fails that one. Looks like hell. <laughs> he slips. Fails again. Never mind. Start showing the defense. Start showing the defense. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> he's like, it's, it's like Wiley e. Coyote. He picks it up like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Grease! Oh, okay, that's a legendary action. Yeah, I'm not using you again. This is just... I used the money that Aaron's mom got us for Christmas to get this dice. It gave me... It always gives me good rules, but today, you're failing me. I guess your mom hates vampires, isn't she? I'm gonna use my... Sprinkle dice! Whatever. Okay, Leonard, uh, go on. Try to okay, use a legendary action. He's, 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 nothing. he's considered undead, right? Um, yes. High undead. Okay, that won't work then. Shoot. Yeah, he's considered a high undead. No, he's undead. Okay, yeah. It Medium. Won't work then. Turn undead, really? No, I was going to use command on him, but it doesn't work on the undead. That wouldn't work on him anyway, dude. Really? He, no. No, he would have resistance. He would have a lot of resistance to that. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't know. I'll tell you the truth afterwards if you guys ever kill him. Which is getting bloody close. Okay, so I'm like right by him, right? Yeah. Right. You yeah. see, he's he's. The, you remember, like I said, Wicked the Witch, but reverse. He's like that. He got up. Blah you're again. Got an advantage too, because he's under he's under rebel rebels. Well, he has two thirds cover, but his head's sticking out. So yeah. Okay. I would okay. say it's a straight roll. You know How's that? How's that sound? Straight true. roll. I'm going to use my... What do you think, Mike? A straight roll? Fine. I'm not, I'm not the one that's This is your game, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see. Right. I mean, give me this check something here restrained. He's technically restrained. Uh, was he prone? No. Or would this be grappled? When an inanimate object grapples someone? No, it wouldn't be clear to grapple. It would be. No, he's incapacitated, he's technically. Incapacitated, yeah. Yeah. So he's going to spend another action just to fucking do this. <sighs> he 
track of actions. Legendary. Oh, okay, I have to look. I have to look something. What? Well, I may know it by heart. Uh, fireball. Uh, that's and the uh, Mike. Look up your uh, can't just spell fireball for me, please. Okay. Fireball. Yeah, because my blackjack fireball. will allow me to to use that spell. Firebolt or fireball? Fireball. Fireball. Level three. It's a level three cantrip, isn't it? No. It's yeah, but it, I could still cast it with this with this. Oh, you, you cast it with your wand. Yeah. Right? Okay, gotcha. It's okay, a blackjack. Um, he has to hit with right, that, right? On a street of plant, twenty feet, uh, twenty foot radius, make a dexterity saving throw. A target takes eight d eight d six fire damage on. Wait, the, on wait, fails. wait! All creatures have to make one. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, wait, wait, how? What's each the range? creature in a twenty foot radius. Oh shoot. Oh, that's not good. Never mind. Uh, it's a risk or take. I don't want to set all of us on fire. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would be like, well, it would go like this. It would, it would be just me and uh, this one, and that's it. Oh. Is, no, he's right here, so. It would be me. Three. Five? No, he's here. So, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All of you guys will get hit. No, twenty foot outwards. It's a radius, a circle. Radius a circle. circle. Oh, yeah, it's a radius yeah. circle. So never mind, it'll be all of us. All of you guys will take it. No, no, take no it. I won't do that yet then. <laughs> um, no, not yet, you dude. sure you have them on all of you? <laughs> well, you could just do uh, fire. Uh, I don't have that. You don't have fireball? No, no it's his hammer. I it's do. my hammer. It gives me abilities. Let me see but here. let me see here. It gives me 10 charges. I can use those charges for these spells. What is hollow, dude? Let me look at hollow. Maybe that'd okay. be perfect. Maybe you should have downloaded the app, dude. It's a useful app for D&D. Anyway, let me try look at hollow real quick. Like that. Uh, yeah. Something really bad. Uh, you touch a plain area, use an area of unholy power. This area is a radius of 60 feet. Uh, area First, uh, first celestials, elementals, and fake fiends, and undead can't enter the area. Uh, no, it's not this. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Go I, see, I see his head there, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just whack him in the head with my hammer, with my blackjack. <coughs> oh, God, his arms are out. Is it Michael? You better not. You better know. What? His hands are out. Yeah. Oh, God. That's what you're going to do. I knew it. Um, okay, so that's. Uh, you're not going to do anything else in your spells or your cleric abilities? This is just one action. I could still do okay, that after. So you would have to use a d20 and then roll your. Um, what's the cleric's use again? Wisdom, I believe? Uh, <coughs> most, yes, wisdom. I love wisdom. Most, uh, most D&D books say do something else, but since clerics use wisdom, I say wisdom. Okay, so, so I roll a. D20 Use a D20, okay. and does the hammer say you get any attack bonuses to it? Uh, let me see. It's a D8 plus 2 bludgeoning, and it says here I gain plus 2 bonus to oh, attack oh, bonus. No funny thing is, you two got the baddest weapon, I got nothing. But you did everything. No, that's when you hit damage. I'm looking for your bonuses, if you uh, get a plus 2 to your attack bonuses. Okay, so... So do you roll a D, do you roll D20, then use your wisdom modifier, then... Okay, five. wisdom... Oh, five. That's bad. Uh, four. Nine. 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 Plus two. That's plus 11. Two. 11. Plus, you got your um, proficiency bonus. Plus three. Huh? Proficiency bonus. Fourteen. Oh. Miss. Oh, still a miss. Dang, it's still a miss. Shoot. The oil is Wait, kind no, 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 you don't, you, The oil kind of leaked underneath your feet and you slip and <clears throat> Straw's looking up to you like, is this this new foreign game, wacko vampire? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that did not work. So. Mike, you are up. Please make your move. Um, oh, yes, I have oh. bonus. So, let's see. I'm right by Mike, so I'll give him guidance. Can you give me guidance? Yes. <laughs> well, Sage would be like, the power of Thor compels you. Mix me up. I give you the power of Thor. Use it wisely. You're the thunder. Now, let me show you my... Hey, Strahd. Let me show you my new friends. Righty and lefty. Thunder gauntlets! Huh? <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, so pretty much, I made a mistake earlier. Strahd would do his legendary action to get out at the end of the turn. It still failed. Now it's Mike's turn. Okay, so pretty much I'm using Thunder Gauntlets, which, um, which pretty much is a double hit of my gauntlets. <laughs> 18. Is it an action to um, charge him up? No, they're already charged. That's, the, that's, that's, the, um, the, that's my armor's ability. That's oh, shit. Uh, so, uh, no. I need a drink right now. I need a drink. 27. 
first roll. Wait, 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 wait. The attack was 27? My roll was a 27. <laughs> that hits. So how does he... Does... I rolled a d18. <laughs> it's a magical weapon, technically. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not, not naturally it's magically delicious. Okay, so it's pretty much... She still hits. Uh, 14... 17. So damage? That's, no, that's, that's not damage. That's just my roll for my both rolls. So 17 for my both my rolls. Now I'm rolling for damage. Which is going to be... Uh, 2d8. During this time of year. Rolling for damage. Let's see here. Someone on the horse is coming down the way, you know? Uh, plus a double d8, so that's a 2. And this Lord Dread is going, man. 14. And 6. And... Uh, so 23 damage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for both or just one? Both my attacks. Okay, that, 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 that was only my first attack. Wait, I, what? I, I <laughs> <my bonus attack. laughs> yeah. And don't forget, you have guidance in case. Yeah. It so is. that was just one attack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are my thunder gauntlets. Strahd is looking really beaten up. Okay. You guys ever seen um uh no one's seen Invincible here, have they? I, what? I, I, I got, no, we haven't. So I've seen time. Rocky. So. Uh-oh. Adrian. Yeah, I'm gonna do pause my thunder. Pause, 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 pause it. Can you pause it? Uh, and record. Okay, here we go. All right, and I'm gonna go with another thunder, another double attack thunder gauntlet. <laughs> Let's see, that's a nine. Um, nine plus plus four. That's thir- thirteen. Um, seventeen. To hit? Yeah, seventeen hit. It hits. And for the second hit, uh, 15 plus 4, 19 plus 3, 21. <laughs> so another 21 to hit. Yes. Now rolling for my two, my 48 damage. 1, 4, uh, 11, 11 to 13. 13. So another 13 damage. So. Hey, Sharon! <laughs> wow. He's gotta look like Rocky right about now. Adrian! Gotta do what you gotta do! Okay, so are you gonna. Are you done your turn? Yeah, it's the end of my turn. During this time, Sharon's gonna see if he gets up. This is legendary action. Oh, that was cocked. Do it again. He does it. Dexter, you saving throw? Yeah, he did it, dude. He did? Okay. So, let's see what this yeah. lands. D6. <laughs> oh. One. Okay. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> Cock. Cock. Hits. Blunk. <laughs> Incapacitated. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Team Loki, I never rolled if they got a thing. Still be strawed, okay. So they waste the movements and push together to get up, like ow. I guess this one would be kinda of on the level right here. Like get up there. This one just I'm not struggling with the move it. So that costs some old that to get off of all that rubble underneath them and they get standing up. Ugh. Um, eh, eh. Straw's not gonna waste a Isn't, isn't there like still oil, uh, um, oil still on the, the oil, place? water, and a bathtub <laughs> right behind them? Literally, I'll say the bathtub is <laughs> this little pill case right here. So the bathtub <laughs> is gonna be like right there. So we could most of the rubble, and this bathtub's right there, <laughs> popped at an angle, you know? Okay. And where did you say his rubber ducky landed? Right Morning, next to you. ducky! Oh. It's right next to you. Oh. <laughs> That's maybe something that he's mentioning that rubber that wooden ducky. Wooden ducky. Okay. Straw is, is. Okay. This is, does the sunlight. Okay, sunlight is still taking a fleck in him. And let's see what those two daggers are going to do to him by the start of his turn. Oh, Lord. Come on. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, what else is this dagger going to do? <coughs> hmm. huh. That is weird. Huh. His moon dagger would affect straw, but it's not going to affect straw because yeah. straw's not using that ability, but he is also that. Yeah. Yeah, it affects shapeshifters. Okay, now, Sun Dagger. Okay. So it emits 10 feet of radius sun. Yeah, 30 he's, feet radius. It's 10 feet of the radius sun and 10 feet of light sun after that. As an action, he can expand. Okay, so. Okay, then let's see here. Oh. Oh. Straw takes 20 from the dagger damage. He looks really, really beaten up. Like, he's on his last legs now. Okay. Time to get the. For free. Okay, huh? Ooh, you can't do that either. What the hell now? Uh, <laughs> oh god, he's all these got stealing abilities. I don't get to use it. <laughs> I feel myself as well. Oh, come on! I have like two tiny healing abilities. <laughs> I can't do that either. He's surrounded by all shapes now. He can't escape that way. <sighs> oh no. This is bad. Hold on one second. <laughs> Oh, I have this too. Okay. Let's so, Strong is trying to look better so the kicks in for him. Good. But that is no longer available for him to the rest of the time. Freaking hell. So what did he use? It's an innate ability that he doesn't even have to trigger. It just triggers. But you guys have burned through so much damage, it just barely gave him some. So he looks like he's back on his second leg again. Like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you, he, you, you lost your second win, he got yeah. a second win back. Okay. Oh, right. Barely. Then it's, uh, are you done or? Hold on, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what to do because you guys have him pinned. Yeah. And he's literally screwing him up. Yeah, the sun daggers. When he asked for something <clears throat> moody and dark, but with a pinch of light, not your exact words, but I, I look for weapons that fit his character. Oh, good lord, why did I do that? I just saw the names and picked them. And they're not even that super powerful, yeah. but they're perfectly situated. Yeah, they're perfect for getting strong. Plus the terrain, he's pinned. Yeah, terrain plus he's slippery like an eel. Okay. I should have been strong. Going in dry. <laughs> Retcon, stop, stop okay, looking I'll, I'll strong. Try, I'll try that. <laughs> Man, what just happened? He said, Retcon, stop lubricating straw. <laughs> <laughs> stop lubricating the man. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Okay, Strahd's gonna cast 
Wait to invisibility. Like, uh oh. <laughs> you go, okay, so you guys have anything to counter that? Yes. Wait to invisibility. Anything? Oh, I make my move with strong? One second here. Don't tell me you have counter spell. Do you, Leonard? I don't think I have counter Wait, spell. Wait, I have a way to stop this. I know I do. It's been a long time since I've seen my character here. You see him in the mirror every day. Let's see here. I'm gonna look stuff up. Yes, I'll have the perfect co um. Can I do a counter on my jacket? What? <laughs> It's Straw's turn, oh, you have to wait. You have to wait? Okay, I can do uh, that. You um, can't counter with that, I guess. No, unless uh, you have some kind of uh, action ability or a legendary action. I don't know. Shots. Can't I just give him my inspiration? Hmm? You gave me one inspiration point. Yeah, I haven't told you how it works in the campaign. Uh, not exactly, no. You haven't. You can move with dice um, in whatever direction you can go numerically. Only thing I got is, uh, no, I don't have nothing to stop it. Okay, so it goes in... Let's see if Aaron has anything to stop it, though. I don't think I have. he's got a shitload of stuff here. He doesn't have anything like a stop magic. Let me see here. Magic. He has magic, Let though. me check something. Wait, does his dagger stop invisibility? Hold on. Bloody hell. No, it doesn't stop invisibility. Wait, maybe it does. Let's see here. Let me see. Moonlight dagger. So slow too. Uh, wait, collar. No, that's not my thunder. You can cast fire spell on a fireball on people. And also tide collar too. You can cast water. Fireball? He can cast fireball on your dagger, dude. Yeah. He can cast fireball on the dagger and water. A, a cold damage. Oh. And make a, a Who has cold damage. resistance? Straw doesn't have cold resistance. Yeah, Luckily he, for him. He doesn't have foot resistance. Yep, I mean, that would work. The tide collar. Oh, that's what it had to have. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let me look but at it. But turning invisible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can cast Crown of Madness on people. Oh, bloody hell, that's bad. I don't have that. Well, look up Crown of Madness in the line. It's bad. You don't have Crown of Madness, dude. No, look on the spell list. <laughs> the moon can cast. The moon cannot cast that. It's a cat in bottom part. That's you almost forget the bottoms. I've been reading the bottoms. It says, the bottom says, uh, Lunacy. Yeah, yeah. keep reading. Lilith's dagger can use it to cast, uh, Crown of, oh, wait, okay. Crown of Madness. But Dusk can can't it can cast Crown of Madness. I don't know why the thing didn't state that. It says on the bottom. It said lunacy. That's what it's called. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Isn't Strahd still covered in oil? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if he goes invisible, we'll still see him. Yeah. Uh actually greater invisibility. greater invisibility. Let's see here. Crown of Madness. Let's see oh here. yeah, that works. That crown of madness would actually make him uh, make him see him. Okay. Uh, one human court, your choice. Okay, I need a major, second opinion. Uh, what is someone must have seen a wisdom saving throw? When someone what? <coughs> oh, greater visibility where he's wearing or carrying becomes invisible. He's not wearing any carrying anything. He's naked. He's carrying a towel. He's butt naked. He's a towel. Yeah, he kept his dignity at least. Don't make a towel! <laughs> <laughs> towel Which absorbed a port large portion of the oil. It's a nice fluffy towel. Okay. Well, since he's... Oh, crap. No, I'll allow it. Since he technically is wearing it, but he's not wearing wearing it. I'll say, you see splotches of oil like the Predator, in a sense, when he got hit by Honor Schwarzenegger. He's still full of oil all around his body. You kind of know. You see little here's and there. Yeah. That, yeah. So, he's gonna make a move away from you guys. He doesn't realize, like, okay, huh? He's trying to sneak away with oil. You guys do get attack of opportunities if you want to take them. Attack of opportunity. Oh, strong. Okay, actually, no, you. Aaron. You. Why me? Because you're in range. Okay. All right. Hey, stride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in dry. <laughs> Thunder gauntlets. <laughs> Roll a d20. <laughs> Two? Damn it. Miss! Remember, you have my wait, wait. Luck! Oh, you have luck? I have yes. luck. Yes! Oh, shoot. 13 plus 17, 19. 
Hits! You and my second attack? No, 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 you only get one. That's no, an it's unarmed a double attack. No, this is a double unarmed attack. Unarmed strike is an unarmed strike when it comes to reaction, dude. I uh, know, because this one here, because, uh, this gets, uh, no, uh, Guardian Gauntlet uh, get, automatically gets an extra attack. It's a double attack. That would be, do we see the, you can put them on, up on the paper? Yeah. Because I don't know about that, because unarmed, unarmed strike is just, you know. No, that's what this one, uh, the, that's what the thing about, um. Oh, the whole time we can start with that this one. <laughs> Let me find my uh, thing here, sorry. And the one here. Or the <laughs> one. Dead, naked, and oily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, look up a tech opportunity. Yeah. Where is it at? Or is it upstairs in my room still, the other one? Is it a magical item? No, it's, uh, this is my armor. This is what it's Is it in your, um... It's in my other new book. Hold here. on. Let's see. Dungeon Master, Rise Monster Rise. Guide is not here with me. No, it's... Is it this book then? Has it? It's the new book that came out. Yeah, it would be that book. Let's see here. Let's see here. Does this one have it? No. Uh, uh, Ice Cave. No. What is this one? This is that. Rise of It's King. a melee basic attack. Yeah, basically. So that won't be the gauntlets, though, won't it? When you reach level 5, you get two attacks with it instantly. Are uh, the gauntlets considered melee basic attack? They're ba yeah, they're melee. Read the gauntlets. See, make sure you say that, dude. No, no, it's a clear magic attack because it says it's called thunder gauntlets. It does thunder damage. That, that's the thing about I thought I kind of told me it's going to be a quick, like that, you know? It is quick. So it's not going to be that, though. Yeah, uh, that's, what the, that's what the description was on it. Uh, let me pause the thing, dude. I have, oh, let, let it go, let it go. No, because I have to go. Okay. You're ready. Okay, here we go. We're ready, Mr. Deville. All right, here we go. I already rolled. Uh, I already got damage 19. in. 19. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. It's, uh, let's see here. I need to roll 2d8s. Mm -hmm. 3. 10. Uh, so 10 damage. 10 lightning damage. <sighs> Hey, Strahd! <laughs> Long voice. Hey, Strahd! Crush on here! <laughs> and there's a drop in visibility. One second. Oh, Hold on. Let's see here. I love it. I like hard to You're fun. Yeah, they're too broken. No, they're not. In the medieval era of Strahd, it's too broken. All you think I got is a punch with lightning in it. That's like a monk. <laughs> I'll see here. Okay, see, okay, okay. Let's see. Hold on, see here. The straw keep his invisibility. And he loses it. Four. Him to hell. <laughs> Strollard is no longer invisible. He's like, eh. Yeah. Like it was doing anything. <laughs> all right. And then it's Aaron's turn then, okay. right? Okay. Nope, Screech's turn. Oh, yeah, Screech, then, then, uh... Aaron, yeah. Uh... Okay, Screech was blunt, but she's not blunt, I guess. I forgot what happened there. Okay, Screech... Was my wizard, and she has a bit of spells. She's seen what's going on. She's going, what the hell's going on here? Speech of Brilliant. What the hell's going on here? Okay. She sees this. And I'm gonna use that spell. She knows you guys are annoyingly enemies at times. Sees this and figures out, like, oh god, this is bad. Okay. She's gonna use this spell and bring it up. Okay, to do it. Backs turn on her, so she's gonna create. 
A wall of fire! Oh no. Yeah. She doesn't oh, notice no. the oil. <laughs> so this ladybug right here would be my wall of fire. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, so it's going to be. So, I'll say 60 feet high. Oh, and gosh. it's a foot thick. So she's going to create pretty much a solid block, trying to block you guys right here and protect your f friends, you know? But there's oil all over. <laughs> Unless you want to burn the vampire, let me see. Ah, my dice! It's... Okay. Right over there. Where are you going? It went on a roll trip! Okay, she's going to want to burn the vamp. So she'll see them to make it wider. And she places it on the, on the occupied space. <laughs> well, she's still ticked off at you too. What you guys did earlier. So. Me, I didn't do anything. No, to... him. Oh, him. Me. You. Like me, I was too busy. Um, well. You were in that space, technically. You are in that space, technically. Doing something weird. That but, space. Yeah. How'd you get over there? I saw <laughs> weird things. I don't know what I saw. Okay. So, can I make a diagonal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, can I borrow your pincer? Uh, the firewall is gonna be 20 feet, these two squares, with Leonard and Shrod right in the middle of it. <laughs> so, if that make a dexterity saving throw? Or? Uh, I'll see you right now. Hold on. So she sees there. She's freaking out. She sees you. She's pissed off for you getting the stack of Loki. And she sees what she suspect is a probably a vampire or some other undead creature. People of Loki, they deal with this stuff all the time. They, they know trickster stuff. They know shape changers. They know vampires. Okay, let's see here. Each creature must make a, a, a dexterity saving throw. So you and Strahd had to make a dexterity saving throw. And then bring her stats up for the dexterity. Oh, you're in the negative two. D20. Yeah. Okay, hold on. You have to be an 18. I don't think you have a negative oh, one, too. Oh, gosh. I have to get a 19, then? Oh, good lord. So I have only two. I'm going to use this legendary action to beat that. Four. So you get hit. Ow. Another legendary action will cost me. Sheesh. That's three legendary actions you used. No, he has two different sub types. I know. He's one for three. averting this, one for doing this. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Okay, so 18 he beats. Let's see what happens if you still beat it, if you still get hit by it. Okay. So. I think you do get hit by it still. You think you do um, splash damage, I think it is? So a fail, get... you still take damage, and on a successful, you take half. So I'm still going to get hit, okay? And she is pissed as well. What was her level? I, hold on. She's pissed at you especially, so I think she's uh, going to go home. Doesn't that also hit that other guy too? No, it's just only 20 feet. It doesn't that I angle. barely missed him. Okay. No, 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 no. Only 20 feet, so it's just two squares right there. Okay. It's going higher. Okay. So... Where's my fire? Wait, what is it? Hold on. So it's, she's going to burn a fourth level slot. On that one. And that'll increase the spell. Even more. And then bring up the spell again. Okay. And this is naturally at level 4. So lucky for you it does not increase even higher. At a 5th level that'd be deadly. Wait, does she have 5th level? She is stupid enough to try to burn you guys' ass. Actually, she does have a fifth level. I thought she didn't have a fifth level. Never mind. Fifth level. She's gonna burn. She's pissed. She went through the air. Because of you. Technically, Thor. But she blames you. So, at fifth level, you failed, right? Yes. Didn't you have luck as well on that character? No, I don't. That's my warlock. No, that's what luck on him, too. Actually, I don't think I gave myself a feat. You did it? 
Mm. It's supposed to have a feet. That be in your other page. Zip. What this? Should be right here on your features and traits. Yeah. Turn around. Left side, bottom. Usually inside here, you would put there, it, I, but... There's nothing there. Do you want the look feet? I'll allow it. Yeah, I guess so. You guys are so lucky. Okay, so roll again. If you want to spend a luck point. Mm -hmm. Do you really spend a luck point on that? This You're going to get burned. You know what? Either way, I feel like I'm going to miss, so I'm not even See, gonna what's yeah, a D8 again? Yeah. Yeah, D8. One, it's I would have to roll a 19 two. to beat it. It wasn't like something you have to beat, like, oh, I just got to get a, a 10 or No, a I had to roll like a 20, actually. You had, you had to roll almost a 20, yeah. yeah. 5 D8 damage, then you know. Oh, shoot. So you may want to spend that luck to survive it. No, uh, not yet. that wouldn't make him live, though. I mean, no, it wouldn't. Oh, wait a second. I, I need more D8s. Go to my bag. I just want to add more right here. I want to see if I could counter that. Wait, I think I'll be able to help you. One really? second here. Yeah, one second here. Okay, I'm going to do my... Let's see here, bonus action. Time. You can use a bonus action during uh, the person's yes, turn. Yes, I can. I get, no, it's not a bonus action. It's a... What's it called? It's a uh, uh, reaction? Reaction. That's very selective. Yeah, it's a shield. Only when it hits you, I believe. That's what I'm, I'm, trying, uh, that's what I'm trying to find okay, out. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, that's a kill. That's one of the actions you can gain tip. Yeah, only I can gain it. Damn, Damn. sorry. Sorry about that. I thought okay. I could. I know this year you're talking about clerics sometimes get a two. No, no, this is a defensive field. It's what's, um, it's, 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 it's a new, it's a thing okay. for, uh. Hold on, let me see. I want to look one thing up to make sure if I have a bonus action on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, damage time. Hold on. Well, I, you guys have to have the damage if you do it. Okay. So Strong succeeded, so he takes half of this group damage. And they give up. Three plus ah, five, five, so plus five plus eight plus six plus six. Whew, that was much. Hey Mike, can you look up Spirit Guardians? Sure. Uh, that's not a reaction. You cast this concentration spell and it does a shitload of damage. Guardians. Uh, conjuration. Okay. Call for spirits protect you. They flit around you 15 feet of duration. You can control their effect of forms your angelic and you evil if you're Phoenix. You can cast oh, spell. You can designate the number of creatures you can see affected by it. Okay, so uh, then I 38 can... damage! Yeah, it's just a damage thing. It doesn't do any protection. Uh, so I take 38 damage. If you succeeded, it'd be half. Strong yeah, succeeded. He gets half he, of that. He would have had to get a D20 to be saved. Yeah, that's like a long shot. Should I just... He got an 18 again? plus his stats already. Just, um, want, just 30 plus 4. Yeah, I'll use two. a luck. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Gosh. give it a luck. You have to be an 18. Yeah. If you tie, I'll allow it. 10. 10, no. Yeah. Okay, so you take 38. And Strong takes half of that. Half the 38 okay, is... I borrow this again? pencil. 15, uh, 15, 19, 6. Let's see, 38. Oh gosh, I'm almost dead. I had damage from before. No, you're, oh, you're yeah. refreshed, remember? You're refreshed, dude. I am? Yeah, you're yeah. refreshed, dude. You, you guys traveled for a bit, so it was a short rest. Oh, no one told me that. So I told you. you before we left the last time, and you said, I'll take care of her back time. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, it, he did say we're back to full health again because okay. we were traveling for a while. 61 minus 19. I have only 12 left. Strider right. goes, you know when you take a hot shower? It's kind of like that. He's kind of wet, trying, kind of greasy. And wait, does Mike, can you look on your phone and see if your grease catches on fire? It doesn't say anything about grease catching on fire. That's all you that's said you it said. does. That's what you we said. We asked you. Google D and D magical grease catches on fire, please. I have my stuff on Google something else. Oh Lord! Let me just check and see this. Wow, that kid was loud. Okay, hold on. So, yeah. Do I have fire? So pretty much. Yeah. Let's see. Is grease flammable? Magic grease, please. Type in uh, and grease being the being flammable so high, uh, it's significant to mention that not all types of grease are combustible, uh, are not flammable under circumstances. All circumstances. Can you look up how much grease fire damage is in D and D then for me, please? Uh, to here. Oh boy, it's gonna be bad. 
I can look it up too. Damn it, the hell? I think one of these new trade rounds. Uh, uh, okay, a DC 10 for each Natural. equilibrium check. Um, uh, is viable or not? The entire uh, oh, wait, I've also been here. Hold on. It can cause a happy addition to burn out fire since the fireball, affecting the population of fire is being increased. Uh, modules can increase by the are pork and butter, deliver them with the same similar. Um. <laughs> When I'm not wearing armor, my AC is Oh wait. 13. Someone actually debated it. Your magic grease cannot catch fire. Yeah, it cannot catch fire, yeah. Unless okay. it says it can. Okay, never mind. So That's why they asked you. He's still you. slippery, yeah. I, 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 slippery. I, I tried looking for him. okay. Well, so I mean it was up to you to make it or not, you know. Yeah. I'll allow it. So it catches fire then. Um, I'll do basic fire damage. He's on fire right now. Let's see if he catches fire. Technically, his grease is not magical. It's, you know, because he's mechanical. It's mechanical. magical mechanical. Yep. Mecha it's alchemist. I'll say that. It, I'll it, roll d6 for damage, just for the, for, for the damage. We don't do damage right now. So Straw just took five damage. Oh, good. Gre I'm grease fire. She's 37 damage. Okay, it's still Screech's turn. What else she's gonna do? Mike, you might know, uh, what's your uh, basic on your knowledge? I mean, your history thing? My history? Is what? Not not the plus, but the basic. Oh, uh, in the uh, World D20 then. Huh? Nine. You kind of know one side of that firewall is dangerous to touch, the other side you can't get through. In a sense, that's the basic you know. One side bad, one side good. That would be the nature of Arcana, dude. That'd be Arcana, oh, not so, history, dude. So, so what's your Arcana? My Arcana is freaking a plus four. So what's that all together? So seven instantly. You know this is what the spell does, so look it up if you need to. Wall fire. Yep. Okay, so what else she's gonna do here? Wall fire. Fire. I have proficiency in, in that in knowledge of Arcana. Okay. Okay. Okay, she's gonna use uh, her bounty. Oh she asked you, let her. What the hell did you guys get us into this time? Me, you're you're the ones that landed here. He followed you. What is wait, he? Wait, wait, wait. So, you controlled where you would land? That was random, dude. I was rolling dice this way. She would land. She landed there. No, I'm asking her. Oh. I... So. I glided you down. You followed the... us, but how? How do you? It's to... cloudy and foggy everywhere. What do you expect me to want to see? What is this? That's the last of his bullets in action. So, I'm gonna answer. Her teammates are gonna be. Anything, Lenny? You gonna say anything to her about what it is? That's it? What's what? What's that? Oh, that? That's a, um, a evil vampire lord. Aaron, it's your turn. What are you gonna do? You have your two daggers, and they prove very deadly as it is. Gotta be careful of the, of the freaking uh, wall of fire, though. It's Lily on straw, so let's see here. She's blocking. That way, so wall of fire will... You can technically do a uh, fireball, too. With your dagger. If you want, you can do a uh, solar flare. I mean, a uh, sunder. If you uh, score a critical hit or reduce creature to zero point... That's so, as let me know... Fire. While holding the sword... Going from Stroud and going that way... Fireball. In the 10 feet of the firewall... we have to make a saving oh. turn. Have saving turn. Around. Hey, like, Mike. What? So starting with the firewall is literally touching straw. Yeah. Where it's at? Yes. Pretty much going that direction. Anyone at the end of the well, only ten feet though. We'll have to make a saving turn at the no, for the first move. time. It just, on a turn. It doesn't move. No, but they if they're ten feet within the firewall. Within the firewall. Yeah. So what? Me and um Me and Rack Rack Ra 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 here, yeah. No, just Rackon. He's oh, in the range of it. You're oh. yeah, yeah. And you. Technically, yeah, I you're, you're both on that. it. Yeah, you're both on it. So the start of your turns, you had to make the saving throw. Saving. Throw. All right. And what kind of saving throw is this? Dexterity. Uh, oh gosh. 
All right, then. Then I'm going to. Do. So it's uh right now it's Aaron's turn though. It's his move. Yep. What do you want to do? Yeah, pretty much attacked him. Be careful of the firewall. Uh, he's on the other. Oh, no, yeah. As long as he doesn't end his turn there, he's safe. Then what the hell is a wall of fire? A wall of... As long as he doesn't like a giant flame right now. As long as he doesn't end his turn there, he's safe. See that pencil? That's the wall. The firewall. It's on Strahd and Leonard. As long as he doesn't end his turn, like he's still good there. So he could go in there, jabby jabby, and run away. Or you can use a sneak attack. Cause technically he's from behind right now. That don't. Well, let no, me, no, 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 no. Let, let me, me finish you. Let me finish. I am the DM. I will finish right now. Sneak attack is ability that kicks in when he has advantage. It's not an extra attack. It's just his ability. It will kick in no matter what attack. His crossbow from behind will still declare a sneak attack from behind. And it won't give him much of an advantage on that reach right there. He won't. He won't be in the fire then. If he ends his turn in the fire, he's bad. So, so it's up to you, Aaron. You can, can jump can, in, try to jab him, and bump, jump out. I guess that's what he's saying. Yeah. Then you'll have your back turned against an enemy. Well, he's more facing that way. I don't know how he got turned that way. Right now, only thing he does is go here, does a quick attack, and then tries to bounce back. That's what you're saying. Yeah, if he wants to. As long as, long as he doesn't end his turn there, he's good. Lily has straws only back to him. <laughs> it's up to you what you want to do, Aaron. By this time, you hear the galloping even more. Oh, it's sorry. down the street. In that direction. You guys don't see it yet. We hear galloping. Okay. What do you do for Klondike Ball? <laughs> Make your move, Aaron. You only have basic attacks. Alright, just that's Okay, roll your D20. 18. That will hit plus, the one. Plus, uh, yeah, until so you're, you're gonna do. Uh, that will be your main dagger, 20. son. So what you're gonna do is roll 1D4. Uh, that's out two. there. Three. Three plus two. That's five. five. Plus an addition. Plus. Uh, um, plus an additional one d eight damage. One d eight to diamond. Hmm. That one there. Do we eight. have any idea how long so this wall six. of fire lasts? So, uh, if next until the until her next turn. Concentration. Oh, five. she's concentrating. On it. Yeah. Six ten. Ten, uh, six, ten, sixteen damage. Plus sunlight. Now it comes through. Now he, Aaron backs up, and I guess at the end of Aaron's turn. Uh, now. wait, what was all the damage? You didn't tell me yet. I just said sixteen damage. And what was sneak attack? Yeah, well, sneak attack is no three d sixes. Sixteen plus three d sixes. Five. Five. Four. Nine. Three. Twelve. So eleven. Not twelve. You're right. Twelve. Twelve, 12. plus sixteen. 28. Yeah, that's really big. I'll do the math on my calculator. Okay, then, yeah, just. Oh, he really looks hurt. So, wait, Aaron used, used all of his actions? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have to. Okay. And now comes up Strati Boy. No, it's Leonard. No, nope, Strahd's next. He's at the top of the round. Strahd hasn't had a turn yet. Yeah, yeah I rolled, I rolled he had the turn highest. Yet, he turned invisible and he tried to sneak away. Yeah. And then I hit him by it uh, because I saw him. It was Strahd. You had to, you already did your oh, turn. Oh, yeah. Damn it. That's Leonard's turn. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. You can get out of that wall. At the fight. end of his turn, he's going to try another legendary action. Bloody hell. Okay, so. Hold on a second. Like, he's trying to oh, do a legendary action. Okay, you're in reach, Leonard, so he's going to try his bite attack. And you're like. Um, okay. I've been bit too many times. So, <laughs> just, <laughs> just bite. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, 18. Bloody hell! Seven. <laughs> oh my god. 18? Yeah. yeah. Oh lord. <laughs> He's not the only one that can bite. He tries to scream, but oh! You want to get out of the wall of fire, though. Or hit him with the wall of fire. Or tell, do you have a teleportation move? No, I don't. Damn. Um, okay, so... Swallowed on his last enraged, leg, he looks haggard. Enraged about being bit, I'm going to bite him back. 
What? Yeah, yeah, he's a snake. I'm a lizard man, remember? Oh, Lord, you have the bite ability. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, wait, I need a candy for this. Wait, 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 I need a candy. <laughs> wait, I need a candy because you may just finish him. <laughs> piercing. Oh, this is piercing damage. Is it magical? No, it's a... Okay, he might survive. Poison. Any poison uh, let it? me or see. What no. one d six plus my strength modifier? Strength modifier. Top one. Uh, okay, so eighteen plus three. Eighteen plus three. Wow, that's gonna be a good one. So, yeah, one d six plus the modifier. You need to roll a d twenty to see if you hit. Yeah. Hit, hit first. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I hit. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Everybody can kill him by a bite. <laughs> uh, 14 plus 3, 17. It's a hit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, so... What did I say? 1d6 plus, D6. Your, plus your modif- plus your, uh, mo- your plus your modifier. Strength. Yeah, Strength so 3. three. So 6 plus whatever you make. 2, 5. 5. How much damage? Five damage. Five. I just got in Cut in half. <laughs> or no. two. I know it was probably a waste of a move, but I thought it was funny. Oh, pretty much is. I mean, you could have brought the more damage to him, but you only get two damage technically, because he has resistance against yeah. non-piercing. You still have a, uh, your bonus action. Uh, I'll no, move. against, he has, you mean he has resistance against piercing. Yeah. He said non-piercing. Oh, so he has resistance against piercing. piercing. Okay. It's a vampire. You don't think he has resistance against piercing? So no, I don't know. That doesn't make, make sense. I don't know. <laughs> By non-magical okay, piercing. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move. A basic. Wait, wait, wait. A basic rule in D and D is when it comes wait. down to it. That's not the end of your move. Yeah, you still have a, you still have a cantrip, but oh. Strahd was kind of facing okay. at the angle. Okay. You did bite him. I'll say he gets a disadvantage attack of opportunity at you. Nope. No, nope. Um, well then I'll, um, from hurt. there I'll just use my sacred flame again. Oh Let lord, see. this might kill him. Let me look that up again. I'll let me get my thunder gullets! <laughs> see, sacred <laughs> flame, where are you? I, where are I can't jump thunder gullet at you? Uh, you must roll a thick dexterity saving throw. I will use a legendary action, the last one for that one. Right. To redo it. Wait, 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 wait. Straw can do something else. Hold on. Um, can't I use the inspiration to modify he your role? He choose he to succeed. Like... He can choose to succeed. I messed that up. Okay, but that was his last one. You choose did, right? to succeed. That means otherwise it misses. Dang. I forgot about. That. I messed up the whole time. So he could have succeeded on one of them. Actually, see here. Actually. That, that, he failed, failed. He failed a lot trying to get all that rubble. That's too perfect. <laughs> okay, well then that's the end of my turn, I guess. And it's... Okay. At the end of your turn, you'll use a legendary action to... Uh... 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 Hey, who moved my idiots? You they did you that. Did. Okay. You put them there, dude. Yeah, you he touched them. <laughs> So he's in five feet of Don't that move, one. You idiot, you idiot. So he's gonna bite. I need a sun up there. Dude, he's gonna try to bite sun. Uh, it's pretty, sun's pretty far away. Five feet, still within his reach. Okay. And he fails either way. Oh my god. Oh my I'm gosh, over. he's the worst vampire I ever I'm seen. I'm rolling badly. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> like, he says, Rahadeen! Where are you? At this time, you see. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Where are you all those other D and D figures we're using? The one female from my that was supposed to be my sister from the other campaign. Where'd you put him at, Mike? I, everything's down in the, in the freaking dro- thing there, dude. Really? Yes. Which all one? Of them. Time. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, all right, my turn then. You know what? I'm gonna go into the fire. And punch! <laughs> Yo, stride! Rakan's here! Double punch. Natural one at this. He grabs Wait, it. Luck! Luck yep. point! He has three of them. Okay, throw. 
Plus. I think you still have a guidance. Plus four. It would have been up by now. Plus nineteen. Hits. All right. Now two d eight. Let's see here. Five. Uh, eleven for the first hit. That's eleven. And oh, natural twenty. Oh fuck. Damn oh, twenty. Dang. So double the damage here. How do you oh, want to do oh, this? Jeez. All right. Okay. How so, do you want to do this? And this one damage. If you get enough, you got him. Uh, if 18, you roll, let's double that. Thirty-six damage. Wait, the damage. What's the damage? Eighteen. You did that. Like, how do you get eighteen? I'm sorry. D- uh, six, six, twelve, twenty-four. Excuse me. Sorry. Huh? Uh, because uh, I rolled two d8s and I drew two sixes. What was That's the attack 12. hit then? A natural twenty does double damage. Okay, never mind. That was the other way around. No. <laughs> oh, no. I had two sixes. Two sixes, so it's 12, 24 damage. For some reason I thought it was a 9 because I was looking at this way. <laughs> so One nine. moment, I gotta look something up here. It's a D8, not a D9. <laughs> so 24 damage. How am I gonna do this? <clears throat> Hold on one moment, I gotta see a star could fight this one out. I don't know how come. Okay. I still have my bonus action to do too. Hold on. <laughs> you might not even need to do it. I don't know. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's weird, but that this he negates it too somehow. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta read this right here. You keep kind of really. <laughs> Uh, let's put it on pause right now. No, no, I'll keep going because this is. Hold on. It, that, people don't want to want listen. Wait. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you want to kill Strahd? <laughs> okay. So as my as my thunder gauntlets come through, one pierces through his heart. And my hand grabs around. Then it goes through his other heart, like, like this. He only has one heart! heart. <laughs> he has one heart! And then I rip him in half. As he does that, he grabs your arms. Uh-huh. Make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, okay. Yeah. Let's see, a oh, natural one. Oh, gosh. And that one. Oh. One point! <laughs> Eleven plus one, so twelve. Okay. Say again? How much? Twelve. Twelve? Yes. <laughs> Straw slowly turns to ash, smiling at you, Rakon, as he grabs your mechanical head and says, We will see each other another. <laughs> As this happens, you hear, and then you hear, okay, <clears throat> you guys hear the screams of the dead coming out of nowhere, just hundreds upon hundreds of deads, howling, screaming, like the perfect background right behind us, all those kids screaming, as yeah. 
That will do. Where's Deanna? I guess. Huh? You hear something in the background. What do you guys do? You guys kill Straw. You guys get at least one round to make a decision. Um, we have these idiots here still. So this has disappeared. But um, you hear something in this direction. The ice cream house was at least around right here. Okay, we. I look at the the um the three Loki tick tock tick tock tick tock -tock, quicker than that. Come on, and say, do you want to be next? Too late. Your turn now, guys. Strange sneaking suspicion. I think we should get the freak out of here right now. As this is happening, you feel as sunlight slowly is pouring in from the sky. Strahd is slowly turning to ash. And you still have your wooden duck in front of you. Which never caught on fire, surprisingly. Hmm. A memento. Okay. Alright, I, I guess I'll take it. Okay, you hear, MASTER in the background. Oh, well. I just said, you're too late. Run. And he is pissed. See, how far away is he with this one? So what are you guys going to do? What's the move? I said, we're going to run to the bus. Do you guys yeah. agree? Yes. Use but... your movements and stuff to get the hell out of there. All right, there's the bus, bud. Yeah. As you see a visage of screaming horror within 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, you hear the scream of those children. <laughs> and you hear... Lord Draper was like, huh? Wait, what? And you guys are gonna shove him in. He's in the window, like, huh? <laughs> so you guys get in? Yes. yes. You gonna power it up? Yes. yes. I'm gonna We're drive right it. And you know what? This Lord Driftborn is looking at you suspiciously now. <laughs> so roll d20 and use. Um, are you proficient with vehicles? Yes, you are. Yes, I remember? am. Of course he yes. is. Roll d20, use your proficiency. There we go. God damn it. Shit. Yeah, you. you, you <laughs> what you roll? He doesn't know yet. Is it car? 11. Plus you beat my natural feet. one, the vehicle is now ignition, and you drive okay. drive off. At first it gives you a little... Do, 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 do. do you hit the wheel first? Huh? What are you doing? It, it stalls for a second. I power it up, like violence. Okay, so that causes a shake on the distortion in it, or what? Uh, what? Does it cause the vehicle to lurch? It has to go, it has to go forward. As it lurch, you notice something in the visor as it pops out. It was a map of Barovia hidden the whole time. Seriously? Lord Dreadborns had a, a suspicious map. And you know it's right there, and that away. Alright, let's So, ahead. you guys would be right there, and you guys would have to really, well... Cut this way to get the, to that path, pretty much. Let's do it. Okay, I mean, make a dexterity save. Don't throw a seat to get through the rubble and junk. Use right. your proficiency for your vehicle. Okay, go, master. Uh, twelve. Um, half the speed so that thing goes at forty. So you're gonna be moving 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, there 40. You are now outside the outskirts of Vista. Okay, uh, he's moving as fast as he can with his horse. So we're to be we really he's not gonna be able to catch up, dude. Hold on, let me double check his movement speeds. So here's the two versions of the armor one. The Thunder Goblins that I was using here. Huh. And then the one that she's lighting out. Oh, cool. <laughs> they are here. Fine. <laughs> hmm. He's going to do... Wait, do it fucking English! So he had to do a double dash to get to you. 
and you guys are right here. Okay, so now you guys are on the just the out bare outskirts of the village of Barovia. As you barely look at the map, you guys are just barely seeing it. You guys yeah. make it look. You have a surmise that if you go down Old Select Road, that's your best chance to get the hell out of there. Let's get the hell out. Ah, you can't get a good look. It's dangling. I'm going to get the hell out of Dodge. I'm going to go down Select Road. Uh, actually, your turn. What are you going to do? Well, he's the one driving. What can I do? I don't know. You did stuff last time. Grab man. the map. Inspirations. I would say he's jumbled in... Like, Lord did with huh? Like, what? Ah. Mm. You're close enough to him, but you're not close enough to the map. And the okay. map's going to be kind of obscuring you a little, Mike, okay? Okay. So you kind of half underneath, you're like, huh? Huh? Well, either huh? way, there's nothing I can do, really. Give it to him, Mike. I can't give you a clue. Go on. Are you just going to stand there, or what? Are you going to shoot at him from the from the window? Because you have a little window here, and you see a guy in this distance. You can use your crossbow mm. to shoot at him, if you want to. Sure. Or you shoot fireballs from the cantrip thingy. Yeah, you can use your magic or you can use uh, your crossbow. What do you want to do? This guy's pissed and he looks pissed. <laughs> he looks like how Kylo Ren should have looked when he killed some, you know, who, President Snoke. President Snoke, whatever his name was. Snoke, you're right. No, Supreme Le Chancellor? Supreme Leader? Supreme Clone? <laughs> Pick one. Supreme Clone? <laughs> magic, then I'll do. Uh, look at the smell of fireball. I don't think he has fireballs. It's on his, his dagger. Oh, that's the big that's the big spell. It goes around him, dude. Not shoots a fireball. It makes a ball of fire around him. No, look at the last spell. I have fireball. No, that's another one. That's the that's the one I said, dude. It's fireball. You know, it's, and it says not not uh fireball, dude. That's the one that shoots a fireball all around your body. Fireball? Yes, fireball, dude. The fireball is different. It's not the one that launches, dude. It shoots a, a whole fireball around your body. I hate need to hit the whole truck. <laughs> I already, I already checked on it, dude. That was the one. No, I was you point a finger. Fire. Not you're thinking fire bolt. Fireball. Fireball. Yeah, fireball. <clears throat> A bright streak flashes pointing to the finger you You're choose pointing. within range. Bosses a roar of explosions. Okay. So he can point at him like middle finger okay. with a dagger. Want to use do that then the fireball? You want to use your fireball? Sure. He pretty much won it for you. So roll a d twenty, please. Ah, uh, eight. Eight. And eight then see what the sword. Your... No, no, no. The, the sword would Seven. have it too. I know, it was it's, 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 it's 17, dude. I think it was. Plus so, 3. So plus 3, so 8. Uh, that'll make it 11 then. Misses! Rahadeen has better armor. No, than there still takes damage though. But, um, when he, he does a save, but that means. Uh, it, actually, you don't. It just, he has to do a, a dexterity saving throw. That's what he does with Fireball. Fireball, you have to do a dexterity saving throw. And, and if it misses, it does still does half damage. Okay, roll 8d6. Roll 8d6s. Well, no, I had to make a dexterity yeah, saving throw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, you can still roll three, six dice. Hold on. Five, he fails. Okay, so roll three, um, uh, 8d6s. So, roll it. Two. Three. Eight. I don't know if you guys want to kill Raha Dean. Uh, uh, 15. Uh, 21. Uh, 26. That's the noise you're hearing right now. So he gets closer. 32. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 32. I don't know. I didn't count. I just kept adding the numbers up. I can't keep counting on the other one. How many times did you do? I, 38 I got number-wise. I think you did six. Two yeah. more. 38. 42. Okay, 47 damage. 47, okay. That takes a chunk out of him. Like, okay, know. Mike. Are you still getting hell of the dodge? Yeah. Roll D20 again to see if the ice ice cream wagon obeys you. Alright, 18. Nine. Plus. You beat it. Okay. Okay, so you're kind of see the roll. You're kind of parallel to it. You got to spin a movement. And right now, you since you beat it big time, you have 60 feet of movement. Are you going to gun it? Should we get out of here? Yeah, Throw any booby traps behind you? <laughs> I had to suggest that. Hold on. There we go. I roll again. Right, let's see here. 
Okay, you're just outside the village. Okay, you're just at the village. 5, 10, 15, 20. Mm. It's gonna be each one of those squares. Oh, I just realized uh, the fireball hits the just the, 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 um, the team rocket. We're gonna ignore them for now. We're gonna ignore them for now, please. We finally killed them. No, they well, surprisingly had a lot, a lot of health. It was still spry. Even from falling from they, nine, they, they, they did not take a lot of damage from it. They ain't they're durable. Yeah, hold on. Let's yeah, see, how long is a roll oh. in Curse of Strong? Where's my Curse of Strong? Uh, there's my book over there. Hand me it. Right there. Hand me it. Hand me my book. Right there. That's right there. That's right there. No, right there. Oh. This one here, dude. Sorry. Yeah, I had to see how long these, these rolls are. Okay. Journey, hold on. Okay. Why? Why did you have to die so pathetically? <laughs> Why did you? Because I or I can't exist. Apparently. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say each one of these squares is no definition to them. Wait, here we go. 40 feet. Thank you, Matt. So that's 40 feet. Okay, Mike, do a calculator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 times 40, please. You have a calculator on your phone. 680 feet. Okay. <laughs> I figured that out so, my head. You could have. Yeah, 680 feet, actually. Yeah, I already went, we already went 80 feet. No, you just got outside. You're now on the outside of the town. You still have that much to go. Uh, you guys are just right here. Uh huh. You guys have to go all that way if you guys want to get out of Strahd's turf. So, we'll do a series of successful challenges of just outrunning this guy, you know? Is right. it my turn now? Yeah, you know, if you want to make turns. Okay. Go ahead and just start keep the Well, gonna, mine's the top of the round, so. I'm gonna. I saw yeah. what he did, um, you know, fire a fireball out, so I'm gonna do the same using my blackjack. Wahadeen would have made some time by then, but he took. He's kind of winded from that blast, so he'll be right here. So, at most, we'll use this as an example, is you guys are. That's the voices you're hearing right now. So, this will be an example. Of where you're at. You guys are right here. That's Raladine. You're right here. <laughs> okay. What do you want to do? Using these fireballs. I already told you what I was going to do. Okay, you have to use a dexterity saving throw then. Can you say? Oh, yay! Dexterity saving throw. And he fails. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thing? My what thing? Your the DC. Oh, uh, um, DC. Oh, um, seventeen. Beat it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. So it still takes half the damage. So I have to. It depends. Sometimes it says yes. Yeah, sometimes no. It, it says, says half. half. Oh, it's fireball. fireball. Wait, you have to hit with that though, don't you? Don't. No, it's a ranged uh, it's ability. Ranged. Yeah, it's a ranged ability. It's a, it's a weapon that gives me spells. Fireball does, uh, even if missed, it takes half the damage. Just look at your thing, do the damage rolls. So it takes 8 okay. d6s. 8 d6s. And then it does half. And does half. Okay. So, okay, so that's 1. 5. That's 1. 10. Ten. 2. Uh, 12. Keep track of it, I'm not. Uh, 18. Uh, 20. 26. Uh, 32. 26, oh, wait, 32. Um, 32. Yeah, 32. One more. Um, thir 35. 35. Yeah. 35 divided by 2, uh, be 12 damage. I'm sorry, uh, that's 24, no. That's, uh, 16 damage. Still doing good. Aaron, your turn. What do you want to do? Still doing good. Damn. 
What you can do, let's see here. You also got your Moon Dagger spell. Uh, my, uh, oh yeah, you can do uh, uh, Crown of Madness. Which does Crown of Madness. Crown of Madness. I wonder, uh, one power of your choice that you can see within range must exceed a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by your uh, duration. The target is charmed in this way. A twisted crown of jagged iron appears around its head and madness glows in its eyes. The charmed target must use its action before before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against the creature other than itself. Mm -hmm. mentally uh, there's not much point in doing that one then. That's why you make it attack other, attack other people. You don't go back and attack Team Rocket. Uh, it's up to you. You want to do that and try to make him turn around, I guess? <laughs> I hate to <laughs> laugh, but I know they're on the trampoline right now, you know? Yep. <laughs> That's what happens when you play the trampoline and the parents don't guide them, you know? Yeah, it's true. So, you want to use that or you want to use the other spells you got here? What? That's the one? One action cell, uh, one to one minute, a line of strong wind, 60 feet flats from you. You change the duration of each creature that starts. I can tell this kid's going too wild. Unless you uh, see the strength saving throw, or we push back 15 feet. You can do that, or you can and use, still uh, playing. one action, 60 feet, tree, one of... You can make a wall of water, do a gust, uh, stuff you move in. Well, he didn't say the name of the spell. He just wrote it what it does. He <laughs> doesn't. He has no spells, dude. He does. He has abilities and stuff like that to do. Nothing he can do without getting too close to the opponent. Oh, actually, he has Wall of Water. He needs water, doesn't he? For that? No, he doesn't. He concentrates on your phone. Minutes, the contra no, it takes, he has a contra for Your time minutes. is running up. Uh, okay, then fine. Just use your crossbow. All right. Shoot him in the head or something. Come yeah, just use your crossbow. You to roll a d20. You get a multi-shot. Eight. Miss. Oh, eight plus your dexterity, Aaron. Your dexterity is plus three. Miss. Eleven. Eleven. So I still miss. Okay. Uh, oh, Nine. Yeah. So miss. So nothing. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna go D20. Uh, uh, roll D20 to see if you can control the vehicle. You're mastering that, baby. All right. Eight, Natural eight, twenty. You have to beat that. Fifteen. I lost. Ah, I you're always gonna get thirty feet this time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You go spin a bull. You go do something. Don't you have any abilities to make the vehicle go boom? No, boom? I don't. Of course no. not. Dude, I'm a freaking fighter. You're also a robot. And you hear something go, hmm, strange device. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll, I can do a level one spell, magic missiles on him. Uh, you're in the front of you, yes, though. I'm gonna go on this side. Wait, 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 you don't have a clear view, dude. You don't have a clear view of magic missile on this. You're focusing on that. Fine, whatever. Then. I just said that's something else I can do. Then I'll just go try to do another movement. Then. Okay. Your movement. And twelve, seven, uh, nineteen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you guys beat it. You guys get sixty feet. <laughs> Too much, baby. I was recording, so it was on fails of the week. <clears throat> and six was. Uh, six. It hurts. You okay, now it's your other. Ah, Rahadine's turn! Okay. What's this range again? I would have more additional feet if I was the other type, but I didn't choose that type. And I chose the finding type, pretty much. <laughs> okay, the bonus action. I can just double dash then. You already did double dash. Nope, that was earlier. That was yeah. a new turn, dude. I don't think you can do it once per round, I thought, but... Per turn. Okay. Watch well, one's rotation. Okay, so he's in... Okay, he's in plenty of feet. Uh oh. 
Okay. No, you already did your two actions, dude. You did a double no, dash. That was a movement. Now he's doing his regular, dude. Okay. As a bonus action, Rollington can force all creatures that can hear those screaming kids <laughs> to make a, D, a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And on a fail, you take half the damage. Wisdom? Oh, okay. You hear the scream uh, of the children driving you crazy. Roll a d20. Roll a oh, d20. is that a... Oh, Four. that's a seven, thank gosh. Okay. Hey, put uh, the ice cream wagon back! That's my, th my my dice. Get a different ice cream wagon. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. So that's uh, <laughs> eleven. Okay. So what you roll, Mike? Eighteen. I have. In eleven, what you roll? I rolled a four. Four plus. You both whiskey. fail. Mike's to see me. Really? So yeah. Five. Yeah. So you're as you're hearing, you're hearing the scream, the jingling, loudly, mommy. What's the damage they take? Yeah, 3d10 had to roll it. Hold on. Oh, gosh. You should really heal yourself, Hunter. Yeah, actually, yeah. I 10. 1. 18 altogether. You both take 18 points oh, of damage. Shoot, I think I'm dead. You have, you have taken no damage yes, besides have. the firewall. That was, that was 38 yeah. damage. How much were you at? What's your base stats? Uh, Remember, 50. we're only level 5, dude. Yeah. Huh. You take 18, you, should, you cannot be dead. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah he's, under, he's unconscious. I'm 38. He's unconscious. Your ba dude, you do know, you, we told you earlier, you reset at the beginning. Yeah. 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 38. Well, that one was, hit 12. was big. Was 12. He's only has 12 you, points you left. 38. Ah, falls unconscious. Now he must make death saving throws. Oh, crud. Which he can do on his turn. Okay, now it is... Whose turn was it next? Aaron's. Aaron's. You can always use this time to use a potion I think you had on you. You can either use a potion or attack. To yeah. save your friend. Hmm. Okay. Seriously, you're going to on that one? Yeah. Just yes. use the Pepsi Blue! I already drank them. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm screwed then, huh? <laughs> no, you fail your death save until you die. Let me see here. He has three, you have three death saving throws to save. You have You're not going to use a potion on him? Yes. Want a potion or no? He's I'm unconscious! Dying. Yes, he's oh, a potion. Okay, Stuff yes. the Pepsi Blue in his mouth. So he sticks so a from potion. the trash, okay? Which potion? Greater healing potion, look it up and roll the dice. I can do that. I have a potion bonus. of healing, that's what. You're unconscious, you look it up, Leonard. It's going to take a long time. Greater healing potion. Oh, Lord. And my phone's at 13%. Charge your phone! Oh lord, great healing potion. Give me a second here. So that last hit was 18, right? Yeah. Let me see here. Uh oh. Why are you doing greater? Oh gosh. Greater healing. Okay. 4d4 plus 4. 4d4. Well, oh, he sorry, has... it's, it's, it's greater, not superior, right? Greater. Greater. So, yeah. 4d4 plus 4. 4, 4, 4. That's the pyramid thing. 4d4 yeah. pyramids, yeah. Uh, ooh, I can't even see that one. What is that? Hurry. What the heck? Yeah, I think that thing's messed up. Yeah, it's messed the up. The numbers are on the wrong <laughs> side. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, 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 I won't roll. Story. I won't use there. that one. I won't use, use that my, one. Use mine. Use mine. So three, <laughs> five. Do I roll uh, again? Five, seven, seven. Uh, seven. 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 So twelve plus, plus four, four, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, okay. sixteen. You're back up. All right. Okay. So now it's going will be whose turn next? Mike's. My turn. That and here I go. 40, I'm driving again. Forty. Rollin', 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 get this truck, this freaking car a rollin', roll high. Here you are. Move up. Oh, 14, 7, 21. You beat him, you beat him again, so. 60 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm gonna do another roll. Keep going. Okay, well, hold on, let's see. You're on the road. Is anything going to bother you guys? Oh, no. run it over. He said, we can't keep recording this, dude. Come on, I thought it was over when we killed him. Everything wants to kill you now. That's why we got to get out of Dodge. Go ahead and roll then. All right, I roll a uh, 20. <clears throat> Move yourself another 60 feet, please. Okay. 
60. I like how we're catching up right behind him. Yeah. <laughs> You're 402 feet away. Just uh, in, the, in the tape there. We'll you don't have to. You, you keep recording. How much more can you record? I don't know. This is the first time I ever used this on this phone. Let's see how this is a brand new phone. Let's keep going, dude. Almost done. You don't want to watch a video when you're doing this, dude. Yes, you do! No. D&D fans know this. Now keep going. Oh, God. <laughs> Just roll in to get the hell out of here. Okay, so now it's Aaron's turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's on, he's back up on his feet. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm trying to look sorry. up a thing real quick. Come on. He goes one over there. You're too far away now to do any spells. I'm gonna try to heal myself, but oh. I need to bring up the spell. Why not just go to back on and What's slam your, your foot on the pedal? What spell are you trying to do? I'm trying to do. Um, what is the spell? Pr- prayer, prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Of healing. Okay, you're okay. gonna do that, right? Okay, prayer of healing. See, what is that? Claire, uh, 2d8 plus uh, your spell casting <laughs> mod- ability modifier. 2d8. Okay, Rahadim saw that failed and stuff, so. 2d8. Yeah, oh, okay. Eight and seven. And that heals all of us, I believe. Uh, I'm have no damage done to me. <laughs> okay, so it's Aaron's turn. So, you you are too far so, away to hit him now. Yeah. So, so um, 15 plus 15. So what are you guys going to do? Just give it to Mike for now? Right, what are you going to do? Aaron, tell me now. Leonard, for your bonus oh. action, you, why don't you set up He's a just healing, that's it. Why don't Come on, you do thing to set up a... Uh, thing on this, uh, what's it called? Where you can put it again. Oh, uh, like... give you uh, bless uh, yeah. uh, guidance. Yeah. Guidance. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Guidance. guidance. Hey, here I go. No, it's this turn. So what, what are you going to do, Aaron? Anything? Or you, just, cause you can't attack them because we're too far away. You're 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 10, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, what you gonna do? Uh, okay, I guess twenty-eight. Or what? Just best end my turn or what? Yeah. Oh, you gonna grab the steering wheel and control it yourself? What do you want to do? All right, yeah, my turn. All right, my turn. Time for me to roll. A sixteen. That'd be uh twenty-two. Yeah. It beats again. Yep. Roll again. Ah, oh, Jesus. An uh, eight. Eh! Okay. Now you're done? Wait, so... Yeah, nothing else I can do. I have a question. Okay. Hold on. What is this? And this is a... That's, That's the car. Dean. That's the car. That's How did he get ahead of us? No. <laughs> we're we're he's not, him. I'm confused. He's not ahead we're, of we're us. We're so far ahead right you're now. You're a little beyond. I'm not going to extend the thing too far, okay? Now he's way over there. He's <laughs> trying to catch up to us. Uh, we're just running. Okay, your turn. Okay, we need to stop this here You're and now. You only need one or two laps ahead of you. We need to stop the car right, right. now uh, because he's gonna not give in. He's never gonna give up. But once we get us. out of here, we're done. You won't be able to follow us. It won't end until he's dead. Well, you guys just want to attack him then for the die like this? Yeah. Yes. Kill him. You guys want to? Because you yes. guys are... No, no, no. Kill him. Hey, Leonard, Leonard, first off, you think you're that far ahead? This is twice the amount. You would have to wait. And by then, everything is strong can catch up for you from different directions. Remember, we're not we're one enemy. Uh. There's hundreds of enemies after us now. And this is your double this right here. You're, you're, he has to make one more pass All to right, catch up to you. never mind then, guys. Me? Why <laughs> is just... it? He wants to be the battle-hungry one now. I thought you were the voice of reasoning. Can we just keep on going? Just go. Can we just get hurry. this over with? Yes. Well, it's his turn now. I am my turn. Nothing keep on going. Your turn. Go. Okay, 20. Okay, you got that one again. I'm going to roll again. Hold on, hold on. 25. <laughs> there we go. I think, we're, I think we should be out of there, dude. No, no. Yes, I'm keeping track of it. And this more than a creature encounter. Okay, what's a three? I want to do. It's a gathering. <laughs> huh? Mike, make it the sturdy saving throw. All right, for the vehicle. 
11 plus 3. The vehicle only has a base of a 3 last time I checked, remember? Uh, so 15. You barely swerve. You guys technically lost one speed, but you still guys are way ahead. You missed a trap that was right there. As you also hear in the back, as you hear in the background, you see a ghostly visage coming at you, but still freaking far away. This is a perspective. Now it's Rahadin's turn. He's now what three laps behind you guys? Yeah. Is this necessary? No. <laughs> he was. He wanted to. Do okay. Now it's your turn. Anything you want to do? Say skip or buff him. I'll give you guidance. Okay, right, now it's Aaron's turn. Uh, you skip? Keep going. Be quick. Yeah. Come on. Hey, hey, quick, 19 dude. plus 7, 25. <laughs> I'm going to roll again for the next one. On that one. Woo! Are we out of the town yet? One. Oh, you guys are way out of town. You guys are one of my wor- woods. We're just we're, we're, so, trying to, we're trying to get you out of freaking. In the distance, what? Okay, let's see. What's your distance of your uh, sight? Uh, sixty feet, I think. Uh, yeah. Mine is anyway. I have sixty feet sight. Mechanical sight. You kind of see something blurry in the background. Looks familiar. Something nice, maybe. Okay, uh, whose turn was it? Uh, yes, yeah, it's been given to me. Oh, so you skip. Skip, um, skip, just no, keep no, on going. No. You better say guy as you want to keep on guy. I'm gonna do that. only I will allow it, okay? There we go. Yeah. And two, uh, be 16. Okay, do that one again. <laughs> Hold on, random encounter again. Three, uh, make this 30 saving throw, Mike. Damn it. Three what? plus three, six, eight. Bump, bump, back, back to. Another trap. You guys avoided, but barely. You guys are getting close, but you guys follow back. And now you're done? Yes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he's two away from you now. He does guidance. Okay, here we go. Yes. 20. Nat 20. Double or... <laughs> eh. No doubles, actually. Okay, yeah. I'll say double. Yeah. And... You even have to move the piece. It's, it's how I keep track, okay? <laughs> how far more? You see and that twenty thing. again? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, good. Actually, I the, 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 I rolled as well as you, so dead even. So you just get six. I actually mine goes up to another seven though. So you guys are getting yeah. closer now. Yep. You are literally. You see the gates of Barovia, and the mist slowly there. But let's see here. Hey, hey, that's good. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I mean, literally, we'll say the gates are what used to be his bathtub <laughs> by that much. So <laughs> the cobbling inside. Of it. That's right there. <laughs> no, that's sun, I believe. You see, you know the, I think with Wizard of Oz, they had those evil looking trees that moved around? Yes. yes. You see a tree come up, going, <sighs> what do you do? It's right in front of you, and there's the gate. Do you even have to ask? <laughs> what are you going to do? How are you going to end this, Mike? Then? Oh, God. <laughs> it's just a little tree, it's, a, it's a, a big tree like an oak, but it's moving around, so it's not bolted down like, <laughs> yeah, for the master. Um, guidance. He still has it. So, what is this? Hey guys, I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna electrify the entire vehicle. What? <laughs> How? With my, with my lightning gauntlets? <laughs> oh my god! How? He's, he's integrating his integration. My integration. My my thing is though, whatever armor is around me, it's I make it a part of my body. No, you said this is a machine. You I said mean, that. What a machine? Yeah. It matter. It still said it was a machine. All yes. machines become my body. I'm making it my Roll body. Roll it then. <laughs> Does your current body still function? Yes. Okay. It, it, Roll it. So right. wait, 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 wait. Is the vehicle gonna transform into a giant <laughs> robot? Transformers. <laughs> uh, Roll. We'll go back to the future right now. Eleven plus seven. Nineteen. Okay, so you're gonna hit him dead yep. on. Make a dexterity saving throw for the car. Uh, Cocked. Twenty. Dead eight right there. So as this 
tree, servant of you know, the Bly tree, who's been trying to catch up to you for a while, but while he didn't, it failed. He goes, and then, <laughs> just like in Back to the Future, as the glowing sparks with lots of lightning and just going all over, you feel your other face starts smiling like, I might get my wish now. Huh? And you hear the doctor was like, I'll be taking the emergency exit just in case. He's bailing, really? Maybe. <laughs> Whee! He, he rocked it. <laughs> 20 feet. He's gone. Natural 20. Okay. Well, Mike. Yes. We have... At this time, I'm guessing you're right next to Mike, like just in the car. You have your hands on him. I'm guessing you're probably like just um, behind Mike on the thing going, go faster, go faster, go faster. I'm guessing, right? Something like that? Does that sound right to you guys? Yeah, this one we out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Make a who? <laughs> What's this going to be? Because you're going to have to break the barrier that's weakening right now. Charge me up, baby. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me see your stat sheet for a second. Yep. It's going to have to be a challenge. Because Barovia only lets people out where Straw wants them to. Except one thing. He's dead. Ish. I killed him. Okay. And I give Make him Make it an Arcana Wisdom Saving... Arcana Throw. Arcana Throw. Okay, that's my thing too. I'm Arcana. Disadvantage. Okay. 20. And... Oh, fuck! A three. three. So a nine. Nine? Yeah, still a nine. Okay. Let's see if the... Oh, well, ten. Sorry, ten. But yeah. Oh! As you feel it fly and push, you feel, since it's connected to you and your armor, you guys barely breaching it. Like, Back to the Future, when he came to the first one, all that smog and mist coming up. What was that? It's a car. Oh. Electric scooter. As it happens, it breaks down. Out of nowhere, you... Come out! Surprisingly, at the old village. You used to... On top of the hill near the old village, you know? Mm. As it comes down, the car streaks to a halt. And it breaks. Because it, it took a lot right there. The vehicle took a lot. At this time, Hitler just goes, goes, Hi! He's just like the bearded lady from Spaceballs. Getting into an oddly shaped door that was hidden by a curtain you never saw before. Pulls the part, gets in... Just like in space, well, like dark helmet style, right there. You know, it's just gay pod. Goes, bye. <laughs> and you see, wait, 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 when he leaves, I mean, you say, no, no, I no, show no. the coin, no, no, of his phylactery. <laughs> Mike, yeah, there's a ding though. He pulls it, door closes, and you guys are ejected out from the front seat, which oh, you are holding ejects. on. Wait, and you're holding on. There's a thing though. What? The special ability of my uh, armor cannot be forcibly removed from it. It's his true phylactery. That oh. disc of his yeah. was his CD for portable phylactery. You had a CD disc of his backup. <laughs> it's a car, remember? Uh. That was, if you would put it into any of the devices, okay. like a record yeah. player, it would play Best of Lord of the Let's just keep going. I have small hopes. So, all you must make, since you guys were holding on to Mike in the seat, make the 70 saving throws, please, with disadvantage. Uh, I'm uh, okay, so eight. Oh gosh. Uh, nine. <laughs> Two. Thirteen. Okay, you all failed there. You guys are stuck on there to the seatbelt latches. Continue on, for God's sake. But here's the one thing. Okay, I'm finishing it right now. As you do this, you know something about Lord Bedroll and his little safety team. He has your mechanical head. He can't. Hmm? He can't remove any part of my mechanical body. It wasn't part of your body anymore. Someone's soul got trapped in there. Eh? I'll see you soon. Oh, and you didn't realize it's not my real head. <laughs> and as this, you guys got ejected out of there. Okay, so that he put his soul in my head. He put someone's soul's in there. Yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? Souls in, is in my metal head that was left behind. Uh, yep. Thank you, minions. As you guys are ejected out of there. And that's the end. Yep, you guys land in the sea near the town. Oh, the, I said the well. <laughs> the end. Oh, and now you just see a body with no head just walking. <laughs> Actually, uh, when you land, make a dexterity saving throw, Mike. You're four. As this happens, it pretty much 
you would be on the bottom, he would be on top, he would be next. Oh. As this happens, you guys, phew, his chest opens up, and something small gets launched into the air. If you want to know what it looks like, please make a, <laughs> an uh, inside check. Inside check. Or, or investigation. Investigation, I guess. Either okay. one. What would it be? Per- no, perception. Wisdom. Perception. Perception. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, be perception. Well, D20, Aaron. Uh, what is that? 17. 17. You see it. Yep. 11. You don't Out see it. In time. You think it's a bowling ball. You see a tiny raccoon being launched. Not any raccoon, one of those tanuki raccoons from Japan. Being launched like, ah! So, wait, he's a raccoon all along? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah! And he hits the uh, Mike McKinnon the Sarah D. Saving Throw. I had a feeling. Uh, 12. Uh, you, hit the, you hit the bucket and, <laughs> and land in the print. Like it hits like this. Hey. What bucket? The bucket for the will. Oh, okay. Yeah, you hit the will bucket. That. The end for now, if we ever continue. Ugh. You guys killed Straw, kind of, and his soul might be trapped with Lord Dreadbones. <clears throat> but except, the thing is, except the problem is, his soul is trapped with C-3PO. But oh my. The thing is, <laughs> uh, it already had another soul in there, so I don't know if his straw got taken over or it failed. I don't know. Or he just being completely annoyed. And as he gets made past Waldine, the screams of the children are gone. <laughs> and that's the end. The end. Okay, everybody, wait, wait, don't end it yet. I hope you guys had a good time. That was kind of the end of my campaign. Hopefully we start Mike's campaign soon again. Um, put like, comment, subscribe, but here's the thing. There's actually a sequel module for Curse of Straw coming out called Tales of Van Richten. He was the guy I was rolling to see if he would show up. And he decided to go back when he saw Straw, maybe on his second win. But he made a snook attack, who knows? You never know because you guys killed Straw before Van Richten can make a move. So, hopefully when that book comes out and you guys put a lot of comments and subscriptions, if you want to see the continuation of Curse of Strahd, have a good one. Alright then, so finally we finished the game. Hope you all enjoyed this. Like you just said, like, comment, subscribe. We have another game possibly we're going to finish off at some point, maybe not, oh well. There you have it. And yes, we finally killed Strahd. Speak to y'all later, peace.